Today we're going to tie the slow sinking spider. This fly was created by Stephen Robert from South Louisiana and is an absolutely killer bluegill and panfish fly. So let's get right to it. Stephen ties this fly on a number 10 dry fly hook, but I'm tying it today on a 1x long number 10 nymph hook. So after getting your hook secured in the jaws of your tying vise, we start the thread about a hook eye length behind the eye of the hook. And I'm using black UTC 70 denier. A uh, larger thread works fine for this as well. And once we trim off our tag end, we wrap our thread all the way back to the hook bend, which is just above the barb on this hook and then bring our head, our thread back to the front to our starting point. The body of this fly is made of two materials, both standard size ultra chenille, and today we're tying in chartreuse and black. And any color combination for this will work, so you just choose your confidence bluegill and panfish color com combination for your ultra chenille. And we tie in just behind the eye and hold up on the chenille so the chenille stays on top of the hook shank and tie it all the way back to where the bend of the hook starts about where we stopped our thread and then bring the thread back forward to about a third of the way back from the eye of the hook and this will be the end point of our rear portion of the body of our fly. Okay, we start with the chartreuse chenille and make tight touching wraps of it all the way up to the thread point. And once we reach the thread point, we tie off with a couple of wraps of the thread over the chenille and a couple of wraps of thread under the chenille. And then we trim off the tag end of our chartreuse. We next bring the black chenille over the top and we pull it fairly tight because it's tied in well so it's okay to pull it tight and push it down into the top of the chartreuse chenille. Give it a couple of thread wraps over the black chenille, pull the black chenille up and advance our thread up to our original tie-in point. Now we take a two or three wraps of the black chenille to form the front portion of the body of the fly. And we get and we get to just behind the hook eye. We tie the chenille off and trim our tag in. And make a few thread wraps and form a nice nice head on the fly. And then we give it a four or five turn whip finish. And then we trim the tag end of our thread off. So this creates the body of our fly. So you can see the body of the fly is black and black chenille and chartreuse chenille. So now to tie the legs of the fly in, we restart our thread at the point where we change colors on the fly. Give it two or three wraps and trim the tagging off. And today I'm using medium sized black rubber legs, but you can certainly choose any rubber leg of your choice in color and size. And I double the length over and get the ends roughly equal like this. Lay the legs on top of the fly, give it a couple of loose turns. Now we want to give the, make these turns loose because we're going to position our legs on either side of the fly, trim our loop in the front, and then we want to move two legs to the far side of the fly and two legs to the near side of the fly, which is why we keep that thread loose. And start to tighten the thread, and you'll see that the legs begin to splay out a bit. Make two or three more tight turns of thread, 
And then we want to trim the legs to length. So we just grab all of the legs. We don't stretch them up. We just grab them all up and trim them to about an inch long. The length is not critical, but about an inch is fine. And then we grab our whip finish tool again. And with the whip finishing over the legs can be a challenge. So I like to start with my thread on top between the legs of the whip finish and give it a three or four turn whip finish. As you can see, it's a little challenging to finish whip finish over the legs. Tie it off, trim it, and there you have it. Slow Slinking Spider by Stephen Robert. If you haven't tried it for bluegill, just try it. It's an absolutely killer pattern.